Our winner from the previous round, the blue team from the Czech Republic Inside Games. And we have uh, Darren Echo playing Abathur. Looks like he's gonna join Mikichi in the mid lane. Mikichi is playing Tyrael and he's switching up to top lane. And down here we have Jekyll playing Illidan. And in the bot lane it's Thray on Uther and Hydex playing Bella. Their opponents on the right hand side, the red team. Team Olaf from Russia if I remember correctly. And we have Damiana playing Zagara. Um, Ko <laughs> Kotokot uh, playing ETC, Mushroomer playing Lily, Public Enemy playing Sylvanas, and last but not least, Tolyava playing Brightwing. And looks like they're going for the triple bot lane. Um, that's some really, really good damage output here on the bot lane. I think Uther might be in trouble, but Vala might join him pretty soon. And he saw all of them coming in, but so I think he's uh, gonna play it safe and stay in the back uh, as far as he can. Let's have a look at the mid lane. It's uh, Apathur and Jekyll going up against Kotokot. It's a lot of damage output. Uh, I think ETC uh, will stay really far back. Just really need to watch out. Oh, nice little mine placement here. Um, if ETC comes in to uh, go for Jekyll, which he might not actually do, since he knows that Apathur is in lane, saw those locusts, and already took a little bit of damage. So yeah. Well, uh, needs to watch out. Nice little stun onto Jackal. And last but not least here in the top lane, Mushroomer going up against Mikachi. Uh, looks like a fair fight. Um, shouldn't be too interesting, but the bot lane, that's where the action's happening. Abathur already changing lanes, trying to keep this tower alive. And, well, he can maybe... Oh, dropping out, and there's the kill. Toliava getting the final shot in. And as I said, that's a lot of damage output. Wow, look at Public Enemy running into those mines. Oops, there's a pause. I don't know, something's wrong. Uh, well, lag spikes. Uh, I'm good. Um, well, I don't know if they can really pause the game by themselves. Usually, well, I mean, we don't have any admins in games right now. There are not enough spots, but... Looks like the opposing team is good. I don't know, um, I think it all depends on, um, on on the other team. If they say oh, we can redo the game, then um, it's alright, but I don't think they're gonna do that. Alright, looks like they'll resume. All fair. And Public Enemy might need to step back and go for a heal. Go for the healing ward. And oh, I like I like this play here. Um, having the creep tumors and the creep really far up against the wall, and also a little bit towards the top, will tell him okay uh, when uh, when anyone else is coming in to help out. But this is way too much uh, for Inside Games to handle right now. Such a strong bot lane, and they're not really doing all that much in the other lanes either. But once again, if you have Abathur, um, you're gonna be a little bit weaker early on. And this is gonna change quite a bit once he hits level 10. And they're just gonna have to play it safe and soak up all the XP they can up to that point. But wow, that's way too much damage. Eventually they're gonna have to put an end to Public Enemy, otherwise uh, this fort will fall pretty quickly. Let's have a look at the talents. Uh, we have Composite Arrows on Vala alongside the Arsenal. So, multi-shot build on Vala. There's Conjurer's Pursuit on Uther. Also, a Protective Shield. Abathur is taking the Pressurized Gans, giving him a little bit more range on his burst. Um, and then, Dreadle Overlord for increased attack speed. So, he's gonna be on top of uh, things with the Abathur head quite a bit. We have Purge Evil on Tyrael. And Amplified Healing as well. And then, last but not least, on their side, Shadow Shield on Illidan and Immolation. We have uh, Sylvanas taken with the wind and Ranger's Ambush. Uh, Zagara going for a little bit of increased health regen on her creep and a Venom Spines. Timeless Creature for a Lily and the Mending Serpent. Lock on ATC and the Echo Paddle. And there's Bribe on Brightwing and the Protective Shield. So uh, pretty much uh, standard there. Um, interesting is Lily uh, for a Cloud Serpent, so going a little bit for um, uh, 
uh, a little bit more for attacks, but that's still fine. Um, a kind of countering countering the play of inside games. And looks like they're gonna change things uh, around a little bit. Not go for too much aggression in the bot lane, but instead maybe opting for steel. Well, at least Tolia well thought about stealing the those bruisers, but uh, not gonna happen. Illidan already going down, going out of lane, and that's uh, the second tribute coming up. First one was picked up here on the side of Ola. And they still have a little bit of a level advantage. Level 7 talents are coming in. We have the unstable poison once again for Sylvanas. Rapid incubation for Zagara. And the lightning serpent for Lili. And there's the guitar hero on ETC. And Gust of Healing for Brightwing. It looks like they might be able to get the second tribute as well. ETC is coming. Coming down here is, as is Lili, but now Inside Games also in position. And there's the Disrupt, Mikichi going in hard. And Jekyll jumping on top, but they're not really focusing down on anyone right now. Domiana catching quite a bit of damage, but Mikichi already quite low. He needs to watch out. He might actually drop down, but ooh, nice little save there. Really good, Eldrin's might. And that's gonna push him back. So that's the second tribute going over to the side of Olaf. Really, really strong old, uh, early game here for the Russian team. Maybe uh, Jackal can make something happen here in the mid lane if he takes those bruisers, but it's gonna take quite a bit of time and he already took a uh, little bit of damage. Um, is it gonna be enough? I think it might be. Should be able to take those bruisers out. Fortunately for Olaf, they had three heroes in that lane, but looks like they are going for their boss. And they have a little bit of time to do this right now. They have the Sea Giants in the bot lane. Uh, pushing alongside Brightwing, which is not too bad. Um, this is definitely gonna revoke or revoke a reaction here by Inside Games. They need to kill those Sea Giants quickly, otherwise their fort will drop. So that's a lot of time bought here for Olaf, and looks like it's gonna be enough. They're going for the boss, they almost have him down, and might be done in time to pick up the tribute. Yes, they will be. Ooh, Mikachi, you need to watch out. That's an entire team just waiting for you to uh, step out of possession. Now they're coming in. <laughs> Disrupt, just going off, going off preventively. And, well, there's nothing Inside Games can do right now. That's the third tribute, and with that, that's a cursed team Inside Games. And there's the engagement with the boss in the top lane. Uh, might be a split push, but no nope, bruisers will be dealt with here. And Savannah's joining top lane once again. So that's uh, four heroes in top lane pretty soon. Bot lane in the meantime still up. Abathur trying to defend it as hard as he can. This top lane is not gonna stand this onslaught. With the boss still in there and four heroes helping out, it's way too much. White Wing in the meantime has dealt with the bruisers. And the curse still up for 30 more seconds. There's the engage. Tyrael needs to watch out. He has Abathur on his back, but this might not, might not last too long. And level 10 is now available. For Team Olaf, and there's the kill on Tyrael. First blood going to Team Olaf. And Tyrael with a bomb couldn't really do all that much either. So are they gonna go for the mid lane now? Well, it's not taking too much damage, but they could get rid of the gate at least. Mm, maybe going for the rotation straight down. Oh yeah, that's what they're doing. Abathur needs to watch out. Uh, he's really vulnerable in that position. Come on, deep tunnel. Deep tunnel out of there. And there we go. Well, no, not really. Wants to save this fort. And wow, that's a really, really ballsy move here by Team Olaf. Going for the boss. Going for the Grave Golem down there. Uh, well, looks like I don't want to go up against a team uh, with level 10. Try inside game to. Ooh, Darren Echo. Let me go for the engage on public enemy. I think that's definitely the target you want to go and hit right now, but ooh, well, she's getting out of there. That's that's really, really the strength here of the double healer. Oh, Mushroom, a little bit out of position. But again, such a strong healer and getaway. She can actually get out of there. And Tyrell was taken out in the meantime with the explosion, trying to take out Lily, but it's not going to happen. And Kotokot, just really good at zoning out everyone. And there's the retreat by Inside Games. They can't really go up against them right now. Need to catch up in levels, otherwise this is not going to work. And the spot, uh, Olaf, quite some time. They could go for the boss. Especially with inside games being so low as they are right now. But nope, not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. Go back into lanes, soak up the XP. 
And then maybe go for their bruisers. Yep, ETC and Zagara are doing just that. Going for the bruisers. And that's not too much XP lost. Uh, top lane would be a little bit too risky to stand in right now anyway, so... I guess uh, it's definitely a safer move. Uh, Lili staying in mid lane. That's a good choice. She can she can get away from pretty much any fight. Unless she's crazy locked down, which would be a little bit too hard uh, for just Valor to take on. Um, let's have a look here at the heroics. We have Divine Shield taken by Uther. Um, it's come to fashion lately. Um, seems to be the most preferred pick unless you have a really, really nice uh, combination. And Ultimate Evolution, of course, on Abathur. Judgment on Tyrael. Strafe taken by Valor. And Metamorphosis by Illidan. There's the Veiling Arrow on Sylvanas. The Boring Maw for Zagara. The Water Dragon for Lily. So. Um, going for damage, and there's stage dive taken by ETC alongside Blink Heal or Brightly. Level 13 talents are coming in. Oh, Zagara didn't watch out here. Maybe wanted to uh, channel there all by herself. Oh, Mikichi once again needs to watch out. But uh, with Hydex in the back, I think they have quite a good position on this tribute. Oh, no, Mushroom and Public Enemy are coming in. Nice little stop there. Oh, and Frey catching quite a bit of damage. But Jekyll just jumping in alongside Mik Mikchi and Public Enemy taking quite a bit of damage once again. There's the mar uh, there's the, uh, uh, the stage dive and Kodokot completely zoned out. Really good body blocking. And Darren Echo even getting away from that fight. Oh, but what? Okay, well, that was uh, just the, the ultimate evolution. Really cool move. This is something that Inside Games needs to bring out a lot more if they want to catch up here. Oh, can they stop Tolilaya? Tolilaya? Nope, they can't. And, well, not gonna help here. Idex in the Maw. They will need to stay back and defend her. Oh, wow, that was really close. But a good heal by Thray, keeping her alive. Not gonna risk anything here. Top lane, in the meantime, has been pushed quite a bit here by these Siege Giants. Already down to half health. And they're staying back in the mid lane once again, but, well, Vala is out of position. Looks like they're not forcing anything right now. Instead, we have Illidan once again going for the Bruiser camp. Everyone else uh, just gathering up and probably trying to defend mid lane. That's the only fort that's left standing, and they don't have any walls or towers there anymore. So they definitely need to uh, stick around that fort and try to keep it alive for as long as possible. And there's Vala coming in, helping out with the bruisers. At the same time, oh jeez, the entire team of Olaf is coming in. And there's the steal on the bruisers, but there's really nothing Inside Games could do here. Uh, just trying to go for Mushroom, but oh, Mikichi, not the best uh, team coordination right now. There's the Strafe, and Kodokot catching quite a bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough. Jackal going for the front. He's caught out. Kodokot might fall, and yes, he does. Damiana caught out in the trees. Really good work here by Inside Games. Are they turning this around? Sure looks like it. There's the tribute that's going to go to Mikichi. And they're just throwing everyone of Olaf in the back there. And should give him a little bit of time to go for their own boss. We still have everyone else in their lanes. Their Neko just sticking down here. Getting a little bit more XP in. They have caught up in the XP game. Hold on. If they uh, get maybe one or two more of these fights, that's definitely a way for them to make a comeback possible. And maybe even uh, turn this game around completely. And there we go, the boss will fall. At the same time, bruisers or Sea Giants have been taken here by Savannahs. And the bot lane, uh, well, I guess the boss will be stopped by Mushroom and Toyama. But, ooh, there's the steal. That's that's a good way to go here. Send out your boss and then go for the steal. You're definitely gonna do some kind of damage. And Savannah and uh, Zagara are the only ones coming here. Maybe with a nicely placed maw, they can stop them for long enough, get their entire team there, and then maybe, maybe stop them from stealing this. Nice little long engage there by Zagara with these spanklings. And there's the Cloud Serpent once again. Oh, that's a nice mall. That's what they're looking for. But Toyava, oh, incredibly low. Can he get away? Yeah, might be able to. Hydox is quite low once again. Oh, and she does drop in the end. But so does Mushroom. And Toyava, once again, he is quite low. But Zagara, first one to fall. And that's inside game still ruling this. But Tyrael goes down. Public enemy still alive. And so is ETC. 
So I guess they can't really over-engage any of this. Uh, good shadow walk here by public enemy. We'll get away. So does Cut, Cut But with only uh, two heroes left standing. Well, they did get the boss. Uh, somehow missed that. They still stuck, stuck around for that, uh, apparently. You have to look in the replay and check that out afterwards. But yeah, nice little move. Free tribute for them. Jekyll is picking them up as we speak. And Thray will have to move back. And, well, gonna go for the siege camp. Boss uh, has been taken care of, but he did quite a bit of damage. Uh, the top lane is missing a tower and missing the gate. So that's not too bad either. And the free tribute, of course, uh, does help out quite a bit. And now both teams are level 16, so let's have a look at their talents. Uh, blessed champion taken by Uther. So a little bit more healing coming in and benediction of course once again. We have the Envenomed Spines and so much transference on Abathur and triple blood for blood. Jeez, look at that damage. Um, for Tyrael, Valor and Illidan. Blood for blood also taken by Sylvanas. Ooh, there's the engage on Tutoyava and that's way too much burst damage but does she get away? Yes she does. And the mob misses a little bit, but Darren Echo will fall here in the middle of everything. Lily was taken out in the end. Oh, Jekyll just going straight for it. Brightwing does fall there. And are they going for it? Wow, Savannah is completely out of position. I think uh, that might have been a misclick here. And they want to go for the kill on Kodokot, but I don't think that's going to work. Jekyll needs to watch out. There is the mosh pit kill from the top. Death from above, that's how it works, ETC, and he really makes it work. Well, that was definitely a, a good way for Olaf to at least control all this damage, but he can't prevent the curse. Abathur went for it, and they're all porting back, but still, I think the curse just by itself would do quite a bit of damage. The sea giants are coming in, uh, they're gonna be unopposed here at this keep. I don't think they're gonna take out the keep, but still, that's a lot of damage early on. And it's gonna help out uh, to get more XP later for inside games. They still have two, uh, well, one fort. One just went down, but they still have that middle fort that I could just take out in a jiffy and get even more of an XP advantage. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. The heroes right in position, and there's just way too much DPS. Olaf just can't react in time. Oh, might even go for mushroom here. But no, three. Uh, a little bit on, uh, out of position there to go for it. And Illidan is going for the bruisers, so I, I don't think they're going to put out too much aggression at this point. I don't know what Uther is checking for, maybe any lost heroes on the side of Olaf. Both teams are level 18, but are not going to be for long. 90 is available uh, here with one more kill on the side of Inside Games, but Mikachi, what are you doing? Jeez! Mikachi, a um, little bit... Uh, not that flawless game for him. Oh, there's the stun onto Public Enemy, but they're not doing the damage. Still, Illidan does fall, and a really good mod inside of Olaf. Ray needs to watch out. There's the double damage. Kodokot and Public Enemy going for him. Mushroom on the chase as well. Can Ray get away? There's one, once again, a good heal, but Kodokot with a nice little power slide in the back. Ooh, Abathur, wow, he's buying himself a little bit of time there. And there's the Divine Shield. But in, he's just buying time for his team. He knows he's going to fall eventually, but... This team is down 28 seconds on Illidan, 17 seconds on uh, Tyrael, so this is buying a lot of time for his team and working out quite well. Still, Lili with the steal here on the Bruisers. I don't think I've seen Lili ever solo, uh, ever, ever solo a Bruiser camp, but then again, uh, with that Cloud Serpent and now Toliova coming in, uh, she actually makes, makes it work. Two heroes down, uh, of course, does help quite a bit as well. And now they're trying to go for the boss steal. And Olaf has caught up in experience once again. 34 seconds until Uther is back, so they're not gonna go for a team fight just yet. Maybe they could go for the Sea Giants in top lane, just to, um, well, fight, let them fight by themselves and maybe get the kill on that keep, because it's almost down. Just maybe one or two more shots. Abathur is actually helping out there. So maybe just with the help of Abathur, they might actually get it down. But. Olaf, they're going for their own boss. Boss will have to be stopped uh, on the side of inside game, so that was a really, really good move by Olaf. And a really close game overall. Level 20 is coming in, and I'm excited to see what the Storm Talents will be this game. 
Uh, looks like they do have enough time to go for their boss. Um, yeah, Illidan uh, or Valor and Tyrael still duking out on that on that boss, and he will do a little bit more damage. Maybe not the best idea to um, have everyone just weird, uh, weirdly distributed in those lanes. But then again, they couldn't really get aggressive, so soaking uh, is definitely a good choice. But we have the Bulwark of Light for Uther, a little bit longer Divine Shield, and cooldown reduction. Then the Evolutionary Link on Abathur, Hardened Shield on Tyrael, and Nexus Frenzy on Valor, and Demonic Form on Illidan. Level 20 talents for Olaf are Deafening Blast on Sylvanas, Bolt of the Storm taken by Zagara, Kung Fu Hustle for Lili, Harden Shield for ETC, and the Rewind on Brightwing. And, well, they just got the second tribute. Oh, this next one is gonna be a, uh, gonna be a tough tribute fight. I think Inside Games will definitely try to prevent anything um, from, uh, well, anyone from Olaf getting there. But I don't know how they're gonna make it work. Um, they're a little bit behind the XP right now, so level 21 should go to Olaf. They play their cards right. And, well, they have control, um, have those Sea Giants in the bot lane. I don't think uh, too much damage has been done on the keep yet. Nope, none at all. But the gates are down, the towers are down, so those Sea Giants will have to be stopped. And, well, inside games, are they are they sending anyone down there? Nope, just waiting for the dash bu death bush. And so is Olaf, just waiting, <laughs> waiting for their opponents to make a mistake. A little bit of a careful game here, that's for sure. And where is the judgment? Might go down on Toyama. Oh, there it goes down. And wow, we'll look at that first step. It won once again. Toyama does get away. Right, nice little divine shield. Mikuchi is quite, quite low. But uh, with that hardened shield, it does stay alive for a little bit longer. And might be long enough. Tokuto, quite low material. Oh, he does fall in the end. And that should spell doom to their, uh, to this team fight at least. And yep, they turn him around, even though Illidan is still in his metamorphosis. Oh, Ray needs to watch out. Wow, that's so much damage, even with the heal. It's not gonna be enough. Jekyll coming in, trying to stop it, but just a little bit too late, and they really couldn't do it. And there goes Brightwing, going for that final tribute, and that's the curse going over to Team Olaf. And with that, um, they might actually finish off it. Well, they definitely gonna finish off this last fort. They might actually uh, finish off the game. 25 seconds on Tyrion and 44 on Uther. That's a long cooldown. Uh, they're gonna get at least one keep out of this. At least they should. Lily had to port back. But, uh, Jekyll still slinging around with his metamorphosis. But look at that damage. These towers just go down oh so quickly. And still 4 seconds on Tyrion. Yep, they're definitely gonna get that keep. Maybe even the second one. Lydia is not joining the fray once again. And that keep has gone down. Almost uh, level 22 here on the side of Team Olaf. But they're not risking anything. Maybe uh, going for the bruisers? Uh, a little bit on the side. Pick him up. Pick him up quickly. That's what they're doing. Yeah, it seems to work. Uh, Jekyll uh, still trying to clean off uh, the, so you know, the catapults and uh, minions. Well, catapults shouldn't have been there, so I guess just minions for now. And now they have to deal with the bruisers, giving uh, giving Team Olaf a little bit of time to uh, go for the boss once again. 30 seconds. Well, uh, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. The bruisers are already dealt with, so I don't think they're going to go for it. They don't have that much of an advantage to, to really risk it. And Mikachi going for the siege camp. Once again, that keep is still left standing. It has 300 HP, so it's it's not going to be all that long for the Sea Giants to take it down. But, ooh, there's the chase and Darren Echo. He needs to watch out, but good, good uh, body blocking here on public enemy. But that heal couldn't keep her alive in the end. And Mikachi is still in there. He's completely blocked away from his team. Still, Zagara does go down. And looks like Inside Games might actually turn this one around. Mushroomer is going down as well. And that's three heroes down for nothing. ETC and Lily, uh, ETC and Brightwing on retreat mode. Full on retreat mode. But this bought Inside Games quite a bit of time. I'll go for the Bruiser Camp, go for the Steel over there. 
maybe even go for the Sea Giants in bot lane, but it looks like Lili is bribing them before. Yeah, smart move, really smart move. And I think as far as timings are concerned, they might actually go for a steal on the boss. It should be coming up. Oh yeah, it's coming up quite soon. And with three heroes down, there's nothing that Team Olaf can do right now uh, to oppose this. So that should be two bosses on the side of Inside Games. It might actually finish off this game. Uh, Seed Shines are still available in top lane. I think just the Seed Shines, maybe with the help, a little bit of the help from the boss to take out the keep. And then afterwards, boss in bot lane. Ooh, jeez, that's gonna be the one that's uh, uh, that's gonna give the killing blow here to Olaf. If they play their cards right, all heroes are back now. See Giants uh, already in position, but it looks like they can kill him off before um, yeah, before they get close to the keep. And then again, the boss in the back. I think against the entire team, they might be able to stop him pretty soon. The only thing you want to do is here try to get him to. Um, cast any rooting spells so he actually stands down for a little bit but ah, looks like they could at least done it once that's all right um, now well there's the final blow on the keep and looks like that bought enough time to go for the boss but only two heroes in position so far for inside games might need a few more to deal with this materials coming in as well and where's the hard hat where's Abathur uh, looks like he's uh, dealing with the seat shines but that's a really, really uh, weird position for him to be in. He needs to watch out a little bit more. Otherwise, it's easy for Olaf to pick him up. There's the boss. And looks like they're going for defense for now, but then helping out their boss just afterwards. And that's level 23 over to Inside Games. And they have a solid half level advantage. One tribute already going their way. Maybe they can finish off the game uh, with three tributes. But for now, again, the boss will have to be stopped here on the side of Olaf. And can they trigger another root animation? Uh, looks like it's not gonna work. Might work now. Yes, it will. Of course, trying to stomp down the gates here. That dear boss is, but... Yeah. I don't think uh, it's gonna be the killing blow here. Nope, the boss is gone. And, well... That could be a nice little death rush. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Good move. But with Tolia in position, um, not enough. It would have been an assassin stepping in that bush. Uh, that definitely would have been a kill, and maybe uh, even the start to a really good team fight. But so far, uh, just playing it safe, sticking back, um, clearing the lanes. Of course, they have to deal with the catapults in the mid lane since their keep is gone. Now, Seed Giants and Bruises are available, so that's definitely uh, one of those moves that they should bring out here. Same thing goes for Olaf. Sea Giants are uh, almost back. There they go, crawling out of the ground. Kind of weird, they really didn't dig a hole to crawl out, just kind of appeared. Interesting, interesting ghost move. It's such a quick capture here by both teams. I'm interested, interested to see, because Olaf needs to stop this tribute channeling. Uh, let's see who's gonna go for it first. Illidan's almost in position, but he's gonna wait for his entire team to get there. Oh, nice little mine placement here. Nice little nest uh, by Abathur. Oh, these next ones will will be stopped by Kodakot. And looks like Tyrion is coming from the back. Ooh, already popped his heroic. Interesting. There's a disrupt onto Kodakot. And, well, gonna have another disrupt here. There it goes. Everyone has heroics available, but Mikachi is still looking for, um, still looking for it. And there it is, Damiana is the one going down. Wow, so much burst damage once again. But Mikachi might actually fall on this as well. He still has that, has that nice little bomb to help out. Ooh, public enemy catching quite a bit of damage. She's in the middle of everything, and there is the bomb, and it does take her out. Wow, really nice move here by Tyrael, making his death worth it in the end. And Toliova, can she get away? Ooh, she might be able to, but ooh, no, Jackal is still in there, jumping on top of her, and that's the kill. Only two heroes left standing, Lily and ETC, and they're not gonna be able to stop this. Mid lane has dropped, there's the gate that's going down, Jackal is coming in from the back, and they're just keeping that keep. Um, on the side and just going straight for the core. Definitely a smart move. There is the curse, and with that, they should actually finish off the core. Oh, great. Catching a bit of damage here. Only 17 more seconds for Zagara to get back, but that's enough damage. Inside Games has done it in the end. Wow, what a close match here between Inside Games and Olaf. Especially early on, and well, I mean, 
Wow. <laughs> that, that was pretty close in the end here. All right, and with that, Inside Games will move on to the semi-finals.